Regardless of whether it is the AccuBird or PowerBird series, the following hints and tips apply. Here they are at the example of AccuBird. The appliance requires the correct nose piece for the blind rivet to function trouble free. Too large a nose piece may lead to deformed setting heads and malfunctioning of the setting tool. Please consult the operating instructions for the correct nose piece for your application. The nose piece should generally be selected so that the bore is 0.2 to 0.3 mm larger than the diameter of the mandrel of the blind rivet. If the nose piece is worn down, it is no longer capable of holding the blind rivet. The rivet cannot be inserted or the spent mandrel cannot be ejected. Replace the nose piece quickly and simply with the aid of the installation wrench. An overfull spent mandrel container may completely block the blind rivet setting tool. While working, make sure that the spent mandrel container is emptied regularly. The container's cylindrical shape makes emptying really easy. Heavy deposits can clog the head and thus inhibit the rivet process. As applicable for all work at the chuck mechanism, please first remove the battery. Release the head with a number 27 flat wrench and clean it. Processing very long mandrels may lead to wedging if the catchment container is too short. Check your catchment container and remove any wedged mandrel. Extensions are available as special accessories. If a mandrel is wedged, please remove battery and head. Subsequently, release the chuck mechanism with a number 14 and number 17 flat wrench. Now check if the chuck jaws and the glide surfaces are intact, cleaned and oiled, or if they have to be replaced. Please check also the condition of the pressure jack. You can prevent wedging of the mandrel in the pressure jack by a slight tilt movement after every riveting process. Gizipa wishes you years of fun at work, reliable, practical and in proven quality. Gizipa, the professionals in blind rivet technology.